All right, Rob, we're here at uh, Earth Day and the NDP, where are we uh, currently standing on, uh, on environmental issues? Day is really important because it, even though it's one day a year, it reminds us of uh, the commitment to the environment that we have to make year round. Uh, the planet is in peril. That's not an overstatement. Uh, we know, uh, you know world leaders have been gathering on a regular basis, but Earth is about ordinary people coming together, talking about how they're making changes in their lives, how they're pushing for government to make regulatory changes that are important. It just so happens that this year's Earth Day is in the middle of an election campaign here in the province. And the environment, rightfully so, is a key issue for a lot of voters. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking to people about my record. I, I have been a transit commissioner and a, uh, an activist for public transit, giving people an alternative to automobile use because emissions uh, levels from transportation is, uh, is one of the, the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases in B.C. And what we're seeing with the Campbell Liberals is that they have a so-called carbon tax in place that doesn't contribute funds of any kind to funding the alternative. So we don't want people just to pay more to drive. We want them to seek out other alternatives, whether it's cycling, or public transit use, or walking. And, uh, and government has uh, an obligation to make those investments, to use tax dollars uh, to fund the alternative. And on, on the South Island, the big issues here are improving bus service, uh, you know, dramatically, and uh, looking ahead to light rail transit. And it's time, uh, and we have a choice, as we develop as a region, you know, do we want to take a uh, compact footprint and develop around uh, transportation hubs and nodes that are connected by rail, or do we want to subsidize a suburban sprawl and have a, a lifestyle that is completely unsustainable? I think the choice is obvious. But back to the election. Uh, people have to choose a party and a premier that's going to stand up for the environment. And they know what they're going to get with Gordon Campbell. This guy is in the pocket of oil and gas companies. He's the only premier over the last seven that actually wants to drill for oil and gas on our coast here. He wants to do what Arnold Schwarzenegger wouldn't do in California. He wants to build a pipeline from Alberta, the tar sands, to Kitimat, to ship to China, to take the dirtiest oil in the world, have it sent to China, and to come back to fill our Walmarts with plastic toys. I mean, that is the kind of guy he is. And when Carol James says that Gordon Campbell is an environmental hypocrite, people have to check his record, they have to check his statements, and they have to check whether he is in any way consistent with some of the things that he says on the rhetoric side and some of the things that he stands for. And, you know, when you look at the farm salmon industry on the coast and the danger to our wild fishery and the fact that our children and grandchildren might not even know what a salmon is, see whose side Gordon Campbell is on. He's on the side of the industry. He doesn't want to change practices. He doesn't want regulatory reform to save wild salmon stores. He wants to drill for coal bed methane, some of the dirtiest energy you can produce, right here in the Comox Valley, in the East Kootenai region. I mean, nobody else is doing that. Montana has banned coal bed methane drilling. Gordon Campbell wants to do it. That's a Republican government in Montana, and Gordon Campbell wants to do that here. So people have to choose very carefully. They want species at risk legislation so that thousands of uh, species that are endangered can be protected, their habitat protected. They should look at the bill and the legislation that the NDP proposed. Gordon Campbell wouldn't vote for it. He had his government kill that kill that legislation. We would put it into place if we were elected. So, you know, I, I think that voters here on Earth Day need to need to think very carefully about who's going to stand up for the environment. It's the NDP. Uh, you know, as the candidate in Victoria Swan Lake, it's an issue that's near and dear for me. I'll keep fighting for it if you re-elect me on May 12th. And uh, yeah, happy Earth Day. And one more question: uh, What is the uh NDP's uh, plan, action plan, if they get in to uh, make things more sustainable and more environmentally friendly, what's the platform? The NDP wants to aggressively price carbon. Uh, the problem in our economy is that uh, the airship, uh, the environment, is an external cost that they don't have to pay for, The producers don't have to pay for, whether it's manufacturers or fossil fuel companies. Uh, Gordon Campbell's uh, proposals on uh, climate change completely miss industry. They miss the natural gas sector, they miss various forms of transportation, even the cruise ship industry and airlines don't have to pay for it. Uh, mostly it's just concentrated on motorists. We want a more comprehensive system. We want to pursue a, a cap and trade system that's been successful in many nations of the European Union. The UK uh, has a cap and trade system that has helped make it the first Kyoto compliant country in Europe. Uh, President Obama and his administration are talking about a continental system. That's what BC wants to take a leadership position on. The NDP is proposing it. We want to be the first uh, to be prepared for it. It's going to happen anyway and it should happen. It can't happen soon enough, quite frankly. Uh, there needs to be a massive shift in how things are produced. So, 
I think what we really need in BC is a balance. Uh, consumers have to change their habits, there's no question about that. But there needs to be regulatory reform, and on the production side of the source, we need to change the way industry does things. It's just not good enough uh, to do things the way they did it in the old economy. It's the 21st century now, we have an imperative to meet the climate challenge that, uh, that is putting our planet at risk. You know, if we want to have uh, food security and food production, people need to look at the NDP's agriculture plan that supports local farmers. Otherwise, we'll continue to fill our shelves of our grocery store that, with stuff that's trucked here from Mexico. And by the way, those trucks will pay Gordon Campbell's carbon tax. We have a comprehensive plan for it on, on every dimension of the environment. And, uh, and I think that uh, if people look into it, they should go to bcndp.ca, check out the other parties as well. Uh, and I think people will conclude that a vote for the NDP is a vote for the environment. Thank you very much, Rob. Way too long clip, sorry. <laughs>